everyone, and thank you for joining us. And I'm Serge. And I am CERN. And this is Penny. We can't forget Penny. True. So she's going to help us demonstrate the abdominal point of care ultrasound exam. Ooh. Okay. And so tell me more about that, Dr. Poison. So this is something that evolved from the FAST scan that we published in 2004, looking for free fluid in the abdomen of dogs suffering from trauma. We've come a long way from that original FAST scan and the goal of looking for fluid in the abdomen. And we're now looking for a lot of other pathologies, which we will go through shortly. And that's why we've sort of changed the name from the FAST exam to the point of care ultrasound, because it includes a lot more than fluid and we can answer a lot more questions now when we're doing our abdominal point of care ultrasound. So this is our five point abdominal point of care ultrasound or five point APOCUS exam. So we're gonna go ahead and show you that real quick. We're gonna do this in real time and then we're gonna show you once we've got this uh, exam done, we're gonna show you each site and all the questions we answer at those sites. We're just gonna show you a general overview of how we do this five point APOCUS exam. So we're gonna go ahead and start with that sub site, separate the fur so you can see the skin so that you get a good image quality. Marker towards the head, and we're going to come in and pop the probe in at that subzifoid location. That gives us a nice view of that subzifoid site. So that's really quick how we find that at an angle of about 45 degrees. Following that subzifoid site, we're going to come back and we're going to do the umbilical site. And to do the umbilical site, again, we just separate the fur, apply the alcohol, essentially at that site where we'd get a scar if we were doing our ovario hysterectomy. We put the probe on at that umbilical site. Mm -hmm. And there we're gonna angle the probe down if we're looking for fluid, but we can also look for other structures there like the spleen and we'll go through that in more detail as well. Following that umbilical site, we're just gonna lift the leg up a little bit. We're gonna come back and get that urinary bladder site. So again, we apply alcohol, separate the first so we can see the skin. We'll pop the probe in there and we're gonna actually just find that urinary bladder and we're gonna scan that site as well. So we get that urinary bladder site. Once we've got that urinary bladder site, we're gonna come up and we're gonna find, in this case, our dog is in left lateral. So Penny's in left lateral here. We're gonna go after that sub lumbar site. To do that, just trace the ribs up till you actually lose your finger in the uh, sub lumbar muscles where it gets pushed out on that last rib. So we just trace that dorsally, find that sub lumbar site. Again, we're gonna separate the fur so we can see the skin. We're gonna apply alcohol there. And then we're gonna place the probe with the marker again starting towards the head, and we're gonna pop on at that right paralumbar site. Now, in the right paralumbar site, we won't always be able to see the kidney uh, because of the location. In this case here, we actually can see it quite nicely just behind the ribs. Sometimes we'll have to jump into uh, a space between the ribs, but we'll show you that as well. In Penny here, we actually have a really nice view of that mm -hmm. right kidney at this right paralumbar site. Once we finish scanning our patient uh, in lateral, if our patient is in lateral, we'll roll our patient up into sternal or standing and yep. we'll do the exact same thing for the left paralumbar site. So we scan our patients in the position they're most comfortable. If they're in a sternal or standing position, we'll look at all five sites with them in that standing position. If they're in lateral recumbency, we do what we just showed you here. We scan the four sites then roll them up and get that last site. So we're scanning all five sites in all our patients, regardless of how they present, and we scan them in the position they're most comfortable. The other thing we will do at each site, in addition to that long axis view, we will also do the short axis at all five sites as well. So we do long and short axis at each of those sites. So that's our general overview. It literally takes us about 60 seconds to 90 seconds to do an abdominal point of care ultrasound exam now, and we'll go through each site in more detail and explain all of the questions we answer at those five sites. Sounds excellent. We'll be back.